Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the new build of Windows 10 for insiders arrived today January 21st in early afternoon so this is a new build and you see here at the bottom the watermark bottom right Windows 10 Pro insider preview evaluation copy build 11 102 RS1 and it's the release 1601131800 this is the latest build that we're having so this build build was released about a week after the first build of 2016 so it does seem that we'll have increased pace of builds Gabrielle Hall of the Microsoft Insider team did say don't expect too much especially even in the next few builds there won't be a lot of new features so is there anything new in here? There's one little thing that I'll want to show. I'm going to show it to you um, in a few minutes. And uh, first things first, the install went well. One thing I noticed, and I'm really not sure, maybe because I was looking at the computer too much, I had the impression that the install of this Insider Preview was much longer than the other previous installs. But I'm not really sure, totally sure about it. Uh, but it does seem that it took more time. Uh, but it went well. I didn't have any error messages, didn't have any problems with it. Once it restarted, I've been using it now for uh, about three hours and a half, four hours constantly. And, you know, basically almost using it as a work computer right now because I want to see if it crashes or has any problems. And I haven't had any issues with it, really. It worked from the start, and it's working really well. Basically, what's new in here? There's one little thing. So say you go on Microsoft Edge. That, By the way, I have the impression it's a little slower than it was before. But I'm not sure, but it does seem. So you go to your web pages, you go to your different um, you know, pages everywhere and you're uh, looking at uh, different you know websites of course all browsers have that you have the uh, you know back button forward button so you can go back in different websites that you went through uh, you can go back to other you know uh, pages and it, it is a very useful feature I use it all the time but there's something new about this one that's pretty cool and that I enjoy a lot and it's the fact that now when you right click on the back or the forward button you have a list of all the websites you've visited so instead of you know I do this all the time I sometimes will click the back button like three four five times to go back to where I was at some point instead of typing in again the address or the URL now of course I can see myself really using this new functionality right clicking on any of the buttons forward or backwards give you a list of all the websites you visited so you can actually click and go directly there and that is very cool and not only that you also have the history available so if you want to view what you've been uh, visiting in the past day week or whatever the history is also available from here so this is a cool feature it's brand new in Microsoft Edge so that is one cool feature and I think it's amazingly fun I can see myself and I will use this a lot I know that I will use this a lot apart from that what's what's new nothing else <laughs> I don't see nothing else and I haven't read nothing else but there is a warning I have to give anyone and even the insiders Microsoft has released a list of known issues with this uh, insider preview so if you are in one of these categories maybe wait before upgrading your computer uh, if you're a PC gamer PC games will crash switching from windowed mode to full screen upon game resolution change or upon launch and it's due to a bug in Windows graphics stack they've tested it with The Witcher 3, Fallout 4, Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed, Metal Gear Solid 5 
but it may occur with other titles as well. So if you're a gamer, stay away from this build. I think it's better. Uh, like last build, if you are somebody that needs to use narrator, magnifier, or third-party assistive technologies to help you in using your computer, you might want to stay away from this build also as there are intermittent issues or crashes with these um, built features. Also, for some of you, when you log in to your account, you might see a wsclient.dll error dialog to work around. There's a fix on the website uh, of Microsoft for the Insider Preview. They give a uh, command prompt uh, for with administrative rights and what you have to type to fix or work around this issue. And finally, um, a few things that need to be, one major thing that needs to be clear, um, the Wi-Fi might not work from the start when you upgrade to this build. Now, on my computer, it did. I didn't have any Wi-Fi issues. But Microsoft is reporting that uh, while attempting to upgrade, update to this build, your PC may show a message that your wireless card is not compatible with Windows 10. And for that, you will need to go to the website of the manufacturer and download the latest driver for Windows. Uh, to have it working. So if it happens on your device, you might have to do this. And you'll have to use another computer to do this because you won't have Wi-Fi and no internet. And finally, in the notifications area on the bottom right, the connect button is missing from this um, issue, from this version, basically. So um, basically, this is, as usual, a, you know, insider preview. And what it means is that if you're not a tech enthusiast, if you're not ready to have crashes, problems, this is not for you. It's very important to know that insider previews are for the tech enthusiasts, the ones that really know what they're doing. You should never use an insider preview on a main computer that you use every day. Um, I'm using a dedicated PC that is only for insider previews here. And so uh, make sure that if you want to have insider previews, that you know what you're doing because you might need to reinstall, you might have bugs. This is a program for those that really want to. And if you are going to ask me the question, Oh, should I, you know, go into the insider program to get the previews? If you ask that question, then you should not. An insider is not someone that wonders if he wants to be in the program. An insider knows he wants to be in the program. I know I want to participate in this. If you're not sure, you're not really not supposed to be in the ins insider pro program. I've seen a lot of people going crazy with all the problems. And it's normal. This is unfinished software. That's what the Insider program is about. So this is uh, the quick look at um, what the new build that we received today, uh, 11102 for Windows 10. So it's up to you now to decide. Do you want to uh, upgrade or not? If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And don't forget, you can ask any comments, questions, Maybe even have uh, you know a request of a video about a feature of Windows you'd like to see. Thank you for watching.